Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Goes Sweden. Yes, back on the couch, but today it's time for the most craziest song in Eurovision history, maybe even. If you're here to just watch my reaction, check out the timestamp. There you can just skip forward, because right now, as always, I will be talking about my daily life and then follows the reaction. Okay, so today actually was probably one of the worst days at work. At least I really only had a lot of negative feelings working today. But it was not all bad from the start. So when I got to work, I tried fixing the second problem because the first one, as I told you in yesterday's video, I fixed that. So I put a lot of time in this new, like in this other problem that I had to fix it. So I, wrote, I basically wrote down all the connections that were missing, wrote down all the connectors, all the individual pins, so that I have a list of all the problems. And to just tell you what the problem basically was, well, I had 18 connectors out of 48 that had a problem. And then I started pushing them furthermore in to this machine that tests all the things. And then suddenly some of the errors disappeared. So the big problem was in the end that all the connectors or all the cables, because they are heavy, pull down and slightly move out certain pins so that you have no connections. And I did that a lot of times. Like I did some of them, then I think like 50% of all arrows disappeared. So I had like 38 at the start. Then I had like not even 20 anymore. Then I did it again. And then suddenly the arrows increased again. I was like, what? I didn't pull something. I just pushed around. And in the end, all the like I had like I think eight problems left. And I again checked on my computer which connector it is. And then I just like unplugged it, plugged it back in. And after like an hour or two hours maximum, it was working. So the whole problem of this machine was basically that there are too much cables, too much chaos, and the cables pull themselves out over time or because the connectors are just old and have been used a lot of times. Yes, that was the problem. And there are three cards that are supposed to be tested with this machine, with this huge setup. And the card that I was, of course, like trying to solve the problem, it passed in the end. So one is fixed. So I told the other guy, basically, be careful with the cards. If something appears, another error, just try to yeah push back all the connectors maybe again. And if it's not working, tell me, then I will check again which connectors specifically are the problem so that I can yeah maybe just push them more specifically in. Of course, if he pushes all then there should be no problem. Well, there was a problem, of course. And he said the second and the third card both had the same connectors that were missing. And I was like, okay, well, obviously, if the one connector is kind of loose, it doesn't make a difference which card is plugged in. So we checked that. And, well, it didn't work. So refixing it, pushing it back in didn't make any difference. Then we started checking the connectors that really go into the card where you connect everything on there. And we have realized on one of the things that one pin going in the card was really, really bent. So I basically took it out, straightened it as much as possible, put it back in and that arrow disappeared. It, it was only two arrows to be honest. So that one disappeared. So we only had one left. And then we checked the other connector and that was the beginning when everything started to be bad, basically, because, well, one cable was off. So one kind of ripped off and it was already, a, yeah, like I checked it and I knew soldering this back on is working probably, but you need a lot of fine tuning. So you cannot just go like, yeah, solder and it is going to work. No, you have to be really, really careful. And then we checked the other side, like where the pins are. And then we have seen that one pin was bent. And I was like, okay, let's try to bend it back. I did it a bit. 
and it immediately broke. The pin was just gone. It snapped somewhere. And yeah, so I don't know why exactly now this connector had to break. But yeah, so we had two missing connections on that one cable then. And also when another, like I, I talked to one of my colleagues and he checked at it because I thought like, can we just switch the pins so that we don't have to redo the whole connector? Well, and he said like, no, probably not. And while he was just looking at that thing, another cable came off. So it's so old or used or whatever. But in the end, we have to redo this whole connector. And unfortunately, we don't have any spare part. So we have to order them. And it's a very, very specific connector. So that was the big problem already. And I thought like, okay, this is now the case. We have to wait for the parts. And then we can focus back on it. So my thinking was, because this other fix that I did yesterday, like this small fixture, um, they did not do the tests on that one yet because this huge medusa thing needs all the cables in there so i thought okay we have to wait on that anyways so we, i will take out all the cables from the fixture and put them back where i saw them the whole time i was working because as the moment like before i cleaned it up all the cables were basically a huge mess so they were all laying on top of each other and inwards like it is not just like you grab one and you pull it out no you really had to untangle this 48 cables terrible but i thought like okay i have an idea i'm do that untangling now put them all back where i saw them and next time someone is connecting this machine we do put the cables on a table between fixture and machine so that you don't have the weight of the cable pulling on both ends. Yeah, but it took me a long time to untangle that and it just it just annoyed me because I was like, ah, oh, like it really, really annoyed me so much today. Then I still had some good news, so some documentation stuff that I was dealing with a long time already finally went through, so that is good. But then in the end, when I was yeah, saying goodbye to one of the work colleagues, I passed by this machine and I saw that yeah, two colleagues of mine were basically plugging in all the cables and they told me, why did I unplug it? And I told him like my idea, which I thought was reasonable. And they told me like, yes, um, usually we leave the cables in the machine because this is the only one that needs all the cables. And I was like, Oh no, like I really felt bad again because of course I didn't know. So I don't think they are watching this, but if I'm really sorry guys, because I know how much time it takes to plug everything back in. But yeah, I didn't know. But still, of course, this just also influenced my bad mood, unfortunately. But then going home and yeah, listening to good music kind of got me back up to a good mood right now. But still, it was just not a good day today, unfortunately. <sighs> Dealing with fixes that are just yeah popping up side quests. You know, it's not what I really want to do. But yeah, that's the thing. And now I just hope, but I think they are not angry at me. They're probably like also annoyed, which I can understand. But yeah, now I know that I don't take them off the fixture anymore. <sighs> but that's it for this workday. And that's also it for today. So now let's go to the crazy song of Ireland. Man, I'm really excited. Let's go. Hey guys, I'm LJ and today we will be watching Bambi Fuck Doomsday Blue, the Eurovision song from Ireland. And this song is wild. I have watched it already and I still don't really know what I, what I really can take out of it. It is something not from this world, <laughs> to say it. <laughs> well, I think this is one of the songs where I will really, really struggle on the points given because we have never seen something like that. But I already talk again way too much. Let's listen to the song. Let's go. Song. I don't know if I want to call it song. By the way, it's the live performance.
actually, <laughs> I think I like this part when she's like, I don't know. And then this part. <laughs> what am I watching? Also, this beat in the back with the. And now it's getting dark again. In a certain way, it just scares me. <laughs> oh, that part is so good. <laughs> but it's the only good thing, I don't... <laughs> and now again, if this is... This really feels like a trip. Like you're on a trip, I'm serious. But I like those bunny things, the black things with the... Are those bunnies? I don't know. And now that's the most hurtful thing, in my opinion. Her voice is... Oh. That is... Oh, that has to hurt! You cannot tell me that it's good for your voice! And the crowd goes wild, and the crowd goes wild. Like, oh, I really wish I could show you. I have goosebumps from this song, but not in a way because it's like touching me. It is, it is such a weird thing that gives me goosebumps. And it is also the reason why I really don't know what I have to do with that. Because it is so unique. It is so crazy. This whole thing changing between like dark and good, happy, and then dark and happy, and then chainsaw. This is... I really think because this is so unique, it is going to the finals. I don't know how it's going to place. I don't think it... If this wins, I understand why, because it is just something different. But I don't know, it is a Eurovision Song Contest. And even though a lot of songs for the Eurovision Song Contest are maybe not made for listening to in repeat and all the time, this song is definitely a song that you don't listen to a lot, in my opinion. And that is why I don't think it is going to win. But how much points do I give it? Because the song, like the... The, the, the song, I don't know how to rank that. The performance, in my opinion, is really good with the videos in the background, the lights, and also those bunnies and her clothing. That is really good. But what do I give that one? I just scroll through my points for the other songs. I think I will give this song 5.5 points because I cannot give it zero because it's definitely not a zero and it's definitely not a 10. So it has to be somewhere in the middle and I prefer it to be better than worse. But still, Ireland has definitely chosen a song that is unique for this year. So that is my opinion on the song from Ireland. What do you guys think? Do you think this is even music? Or do you think this is just chaos or maybe art? Maybe art is a good way. Of course, music is also some type of art, but maybe it's something different, you know? Some people also say that Hans Zimmer doesn't do music when he has a lot of digital noises in some of his movies. But yeah, so what do you guys think? Do you think because it's so different, it is going to be high up, make it to the final, make it even in the top 10? Feel free to write down your opinion, especially on this song. Because this is just crazy in my opinion. And with that said, it is now time to say goodbye 
So tomorrow we are going to see each other back right here when it's time for another controversial song, which is the song from Israel. But until then, have a wonderful day and we will see each other there. Bye bye.